people. It is unbelievable what we're letting happen at the southern border, and we're letting it happen because Kamala Harris refuses to do her job. Republican vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance visits the border and calls out the Biden administration as he promises voters Donald Trump will do better as president. The Republican senator from Ohio made a brief stop with a strong message on immigration and the border crisis. 13 News reporter Renee Romo has more from Vance after his stop in Cochise County. Vance toured the border and spoke with a few people on their concerns about it. Later on, he spoke with the press and his main message was on Vice President Kamala Harris's policies and how they have failed the American people. Kamala Harris came into office making promises and she kept those promises to open the American southern border. They stopped deportations on day one. They stopped construction of the border wall on day one. Vance said that unlike Harris, he and former President Donald Trump would ensure common sense policies were reinstated, like finishing the wall, remain in Mexico, and ending catch and release. Vance highlighted the fentanyl crisis in the country, talking about his mother's battle with opioids. I have been a little kid waiting at the bedside of his mother angry that his mom took something that she shouldn't have taken, but praying to God, please, Jesus, let her wake up. Vance met with members of the Border Patrol and the Cochise County Sheriff's Office who say Southern Arizona is at the epicenter of smuggling fentanyl, adding about 200 people a day are dying from the synthetic opioid. Nearly the same amount of Americans have died from fentanyl in the last 10 years as um, in all of World War II. Nearly over 400,000 Americans have died from fentanyl. The vice presidential candidate heard from those who patrol the border about their concerns over the targeting of juveniles to smuggle undocumented immigrants throughout our state. They send letters, they make phone calls, they are begging the American president and vice president for leadership and their own border czar ignores them. That is a scandal, that is a disgrace. Vance now heads to Atlanta for the Trump rally as their campaign trail continues. In Palominas, Renee Romo, 13 News.